Well, listen, I want to I want to ask you about a, a tumultuous relationship that you have had, and it's with Dave Meltzer because I listened to both <laughs> of you, and both of you, I'm I'm trying to find the positivity here. Sometimes you you can still hear a little bit of love that you have for him in your voice. You can still hear a little bit of love that he has for you in his voice. Do Wait you... a minute, now don't make it sound like we you know are star-crossed lovers now. <laughs> well, no, no, a platonic, of course, a platonic love. But I mean, do you envision any scenario where you and Dave would kind of reconcile and? No, no, no none whatsoever. Because it, 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 he's lost his fucking mind, and a lot of people say I'm crazy. But at least I'm honest. I'm just opinionated. But again, I don't know why it's so important to him. It's like I'm criticizing members of his family. I, I, I know people have got to think there's something more going on. There's nothing more going on. There has never been a crossword between me and Dave Meltzer that did not involve his I guess, smear campaign against me because I just think that his favorite wrestlers suck. We've known each other for 35 fucking years. And to and remember, well, you're not old enough, but in the 1980s, Dave Meltzer's Wrestling Observer made mention of the Ultimate Warrior Negative one star match. He's the complete shits. Made fun of Junkyard Dog when he got fat. Junk food dog. He would. He had a element of incisive humor to his critiques that he stole from my old friend Weasel Dooley. Um, but he acknowledged when a match was bad or a wrestler was bad or something was stupid, right? Now, he said, well, it works in the room. Yes, the ultimate warrior, the person that you mocked and made fun of, and rightfully so, because he was a shitty wrestler and all these other shitty wrestlers. It worked in those rooms, too. The WWE fans, WWF at the time, fans were going absolutely insane for him. It was mass hypnosis. Vince got him over for a short period of time, but he still sucked. You said that then. You do not say that now, because it's his favorite style of wrestling, trampolines and gymnasts. And the only thing <clears throat> at first i tried to you know i didn't want to just come out and start cutting promos on dave i didn't want to yell it we've known each other for 35 years we've we've been to he's been to my house i've never been to his house um we've exchanged christmas cards but i would start seeing on twitter or on his shows people say well, why did dave say this and it would start be well Cornette doesn't know anything about wrestling now modern you know, history is great but now no because I didn't like Twinkle Toes and the rest of his clown show. And that's who Dave's been pushing as the greatest wrestler in the world for the last five years or whatever. And then I started joking about it and trying to laugh it off. And I said, well, you know, weed's legal in California. That's why Dave likes the, the young bucks, <laughs> right? Weed's legal in California. What the? F and he lost his mind again, and he continues to lose his mind on a regular basis on Twitter. Cornette doesn't know anything. Cornets, he won't learn. Hey, Dave, what do you want for lunch? Well, Jim Cornette don't know. And finally, I had to fucking get with him and say, look, motherfucker. I have never attacked you. I have defended you. When Eric Bischoff and all the rest of those con men said, well, Dave just made shit up. Dave's great with history. Dave always tried to report news factually and clarifies when... He has made an error, and I never found anything over 30 years to be just ridiculously contrived or made up anything that Dave said. I always thought he was fairly level-headed, a little odd socially. That was it. But suddenly, he couldn't fucking stay off of me, and he was telling a bunch of people that I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about because I didn't like his favorite wrestlers. And that's when I told him, what the fuck? If this is the way it's going to be, then we're done. Quit emailing me. You're, we're not friends because you are slandering me for no good reason in the public eye, and I ain't going to put up with it. And then he'd email me about, I heard your show last week. You did a really great political commentary, and I'd be emailed back, fuck you, because <laughs> you used to be my friend, and you're not anymore. 
because you slander me, so leave me the fuck alone. <clears throat> so now he's resorted to tweeting about me and how much that I don't know about wrestling, but he's blocked his replies so people can't fucking get back on him and say, what the fuck are you talking about? We hate this shit. He, so you can't reply to Dave on Twitter now unless he follows you or you follow him or you send $9.99 to P.O. Box 9, Chicago, Illinois, 60609. I don't know. <laughs> so it's a firm no on a reconciliation. No, fuck <laughs> it. There was, there was no, I didn't initiate the breakup. I wasn't the one telling everybody in the world that Dave Meltzer was a complete moron, didn't know what he was talking about, refused to learn anything, and and, and wouldn't get with the times and and start liking this phony fucking wrestling. I was the one saying, Dave's an honest guy, and Dave has his history down, and Dave tries to report things factually, and he starts slandering me. So fuck you, Dave, if you're listening to this. I'm sure you are because we're talking about you, and it's me, and you can't get me off your mind. So fuck you. Take the knife out of my back, stick it up your own ass. Um, so I was totally down for it, but I actually think the WWE was more on the side of... They knew that I had started, like, established credibility already as, like, a broadcaster. I think they were a little trepidatious about, like, messing with that in any way or, like, having me become too involved in storylines like that. I think they were pretty protective of, um, of the role that I played with them. So it, it never really came up for it to go down that path. I think that got shut down pretty quick.